Welcome to Deconstructing Chatbots. I am Priyanka Vergaria and in this episode, we will learn how to integrate a dialogue flow agent with BigQuery. If you've not checked out our previous episode on fulfillment, I highly encourage you to watch that before you continue here because we are going to use our same appointment scheduler chatbot that creates appointments in Google Calendar. Today, let's enhance it to send appointment information to BigQuery to gain some insights from this appointment data. So let's jump into our Dialogflow console and see how to set up the fulfillment to send data to BigQuery. Open Appointment Scheduler Agent in the Dialogflow console and navigate to fulfillment. In order to integrate with BigQuery, the first thing we need to make sure is open package.json and add the BigQuery dependency. Now, before we make edits to our index.js, let's first set up our BigQuery dataset in GCP console. Under Resources on the left pane, click on the project ID. Once selected, you will see Create Dataset on the right. Click on Create Dataset and name it. Once the dataset is created, click on it from the left panel. You will see Create Table on the right now. Provide table name and create the table. Click on the table and edit the schema. Add date, time, and type as the three fields for the appointment time and the appointment type. Take note of your project ID, dataset ID, table ID, and the schema fields. We will need all those in our fulfillment. Index.js code is linked in the description below. First, create a BigQuery constant. We will scroll through the Google Calendar setup code for creating calendar invite. Please watch the previous episode to learn how to integrate Google Calendar with Dialogflow fulfillment. In our make appointment function, after the calendar event is set, we are calling our BigQuery function, add to BigQuery, which will add the same appointment information into the BigQuery dataset we just created. Let's check out the function add to BigQuery. We are passing in the agent and the appointment type. Then we are modifying the date and time into a readable format. Uncomment the code and add the project ID, dataset ID, and table ID to make that BigQuery connection. We are using our schema fields date, time, and appointment type to create a row entry into BigQuery. At this point, we have all the information we need. We call our BigQuery object to add the row in. We finally catch if there are any errors. Once you've made the required edits to the index.js, copy and paste it into the fulfillment cloud function within Dialogflow and click Deploy. Now we are ready to test. In the simulator on the right, Query your Dialogflow agent with something like set an appointment at 8 p.m. on 10th and respond to the follow-up questions to provide appointment type information. I am using license as an example here. You will see an appointment setup response in the simulator and it will show up on the calendar as well. Now navigate to BigQuery and execute select star from the table query to verify that a row was added for your recent test with the appointment type. From within BigQuery, we can explore this data to find interesting insights. Click on the Explore in Data Studio button, which takes us to Data Studio. Here, say we want to know how many appointments are for license versus registration versus others. It is as easy as dragging the pie chart and editing the values we want to see. I'm also interested in knowing how many total appointments are set up. And another bar graph that tells me appointment breakdown per day. Well, that is pretty amazing in less than a minute. Let's summarize what we learned today. We enhanced our appointment scheduler chatbot by creating an integration with BigQuery. We created a data set and a table in BigQuery and connected it to our fulfillment. Then we tested our agent to confirm that the data is being sent to BigQuery. 
Finally, we were able to explore the data in Data Studio through one-click explore feature within BigQuery. Comment below to let us know how you are trying this integration in your specific use case. I will see you in the next episode of Deconstructing Chatbots. Until then, please like and subscribe to our channel for more such content.